Hello everyone and welcome to this short video where I show you how you can update your contact information so that when people visit your LinkedIn profile, they know how to get a hold of you to talk about business. So let's get started. First off, you're going to go to your profile page and you're going to see a link on your profile page that says contact info. So let's take a look at what your contact info reads. Right now, my contact information reads the different websites that I have, as well as my email address here, which is my work email. And I'll show you how I did that. I also have my phone number here. Now your phone number is only visible for your first degree connections, and it can be updated right here on the contact info. So I can put whatever number I want under the phone number here. The email address, however, has been pulled from your settings. So let's go over there now and take a look at what emails you have in your settings. So under your settings and privacy, which is under the me tab at the top of the page, there's going to be a link to sign in and security. And here's where we see our email addresses. Now, many of us have put a personal email address because LinkedIn is our personal property and we don't want our employees to own our LinkedIn profiles. That is completely fair. That's why we have the option to have two email addresses because here's what's happening is we make, if we make our personal email address the primary email address, that is what's going to show up in our contact information right here. But when we make our work email address our primary address, that's what'll show up and now people can get a hold of us at our place of employment. Now, if you leave your place of employment, good news, you have your personal email address to log into your account, make your account access changes, etc. Test this out if you like, but it's true. So if I decide to leave my organization at leannecalderwood.com, I can still come into my account using my personal email address here. So that's how you update your information so that your primary email address, as indicated, will be on your profile. Here's another hack though. If this isn't making you comfortable in any way, tuck your work email address into your about section. This way people can at least find it in some way, shape or form and be able to connect with you. I hope this information has helped. Bye for now.